in today's video i'm going to talk about the best budget probably gaming pcs of november in 2021 i'm going to give you four different gaming pcs four different budgets to choose the right one for you and we are going from 750 dollars all the way up to 1200 dollars which i think is when a budget gaming pc is not considered budget anymore anything above 1200 i think is not a budget gaming pc anything below i think it is and i wouldn't go any lower than 750 dollars and that's why the first gaming pc is at that price point with the first pc we have one that i mentioned a lot but that's because i think it's one of the greatest pcs in terms of price performance and that is the hp pavilion gaming desktop with the gtx 1650 super and the i5 11400 only at 750 dollars i have this pc here with me and i'm going to do a review really soon so stay tuned for that if you want to buy this pc or you're thinking about it i think that for the price that you're paying you're getting a great value for performance and considering that the gtx 1650 super alone it's around 400 to 500 dollars you're assembling a whole gaming PC for less than $300 with the i5-11400, 8GB of RAM, 200GB of SSD and a power supply. And I think that's pretty great because you can't get this gaming PC if you want to build it by your own at this price point. So I think this gaming PC overall is great and if you're not planning on changing the whole components to another case then this one is for you. It's going to run games at 1080p really smoothly and believe me that you're not going to regret buying this gaming PC. Like I said before I have it here and I'm already telling you that it's a great option but you will have to see that on another video with the next pc we have one from cyber power that is on amazon and this one is the extreme vr gaming pc that has the i5 10400f which is a really great budget cpu you also get 8 gigs of ram but this time it's a single channel memory not like the papillion that has two sticks of four gigs so here you're losing on performance so what i would recommend you doing is upgrading the ram with another stick of 8 gigs but if you can't afford it you can upgrade it with another stick of four gigs and make it at least 12 gigs of from. You also get 500 gigs of SSD, which might be enough for you, but it really depends on the games that you want to play, so you can upgrade that too if you want, but it's not completely necessary. Now the GTX 1660 Super, it's around 600 to 800 dollars, so here you're building a gaming PC once again for around 250 dollars for the CPU, power supply, SSD, Windows, and actually a mouse and a keyboard. The motherboard is a B460. For this cyber power, you will be able to run every single game at 1080p, 60 FPS average without any problems and for esports titles like CSGO, Fortnite and Valorant you will be able to run them at about 200 FPS average in competitive settings. And for the next PC and I recommend you buying this one instead of the last one if you can save some money is the ABS Challenger Gaming PC. This one has the same CPU i5 10400F but you get the EVGA GTX 1660 Ti which the 1660 Ti is already better than the 1660 Super but here you get quality components. You don't get this stock cooler from Intel which is awful so you get a gaming PC with better quality quality components and that's why I recommend you buying this one instead. You also get 16 gigs of RAM and 500 gigs of SSD so if you want to upgrade it you only have to upgrade the SSD, the RAM is not necessary at all and it's dual channel 2 sticks of 8 gigs so you're not losing on any performance. The speeds for the RAM are 3000 MHz which is not bad considering that it's an Intel processor. So once again if you want to play games at 1080p this one is going to be way more than enough and if it's your first gaming PC you're gonna love it for sure. And with the best one we have another one from Cyber power leads on Amazon and it's the Gamer Extreme VR upgraded version with the i5 11600 KF which is way better than the i5 10400 f 16 gigs of RAM so here you don't need to upgrade it, the RGX 3060 so here you get ray tracing not like every PC that I mentioned before, 500 gigs of SSD, 1 terabyte of hard drive so here you have enough storage and you don't need to upgrade it and Windows 11. You also get a B560 motherboard. Now I would recommend you buying this one instead of the last one if you can afford it but if you can't it's all good you can go with the last one. But for a $70 difference you're getting a way better CPU, a way better GPU with ray tracing and more storage and in case you want to upgrade those things from the last PC it's going to cost you a lot more than $70 so it's up to you but if you can't afford this one and you can afford the last one it's all good the gaming performance is still great for 1080p gaming if you want to game at 1440p then you might notice a big difference from these two PCs but if you're gaming just on 1080p both gaming PCs will average more than 60 FPS in every single game competitive or high-end of course this one in competitive games is going to average more than 240 
240 fps so if you want to buy an esports monitor 240 hertz you can do it pretty easily and i have a video about monitors that you can watch in the top right of the screen and that was the whole video if your budget was not on this list don't worry because in the description as well with these pcs you are going to have a bunch of gaming pcs that i recommend you buying for every budget and i have a video about the best overall pcs for every budget as well but if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and i will reply as fast as possible and if you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe but most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when i upload this type of content which i do from three to five times a week thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one